Hello there, guys. Today I'm introducing you to a game by the name of Probability Zero. Now, this is a game that came as part of the Probability Zero bundle, which included Starseed Pilgrim, which I made a video on last week and absolutely loved. This game is maybe not quite to that level, but is still really fun and shares a lot with roguelike-ish games such as Spelunky. Spelunky would probably be the closest comparison I could make to this game, but it's a lot more minimalistic and it's a really fun platforming, kill everything game with permadeath of course. You just go down in the levels, you kill as much as possible, that's kind of the metric of how well you do in the game. The amount of creatures you kill becomes your high score at the end. And as you're going down and killing these things, you level up. There's these little beams you'll come across every once in a while that you'll be able to choose from a few different abilities. All these abilities are straight up power-ups and stuff that actually change the gameplay in a real way. Such as, uh, well before I get into that, uh, I should just mention how the basic controls work. They can be kind of awkward to get used to at first. All the physics and the controls kind of get some getting used to a few games before you'll actually have a good hang of it. But basically you can just walk around, jump, and then you have one other button which if you're standing still will punch forward in whichever direction you're facing. And if you're in the air, it'll shoot a star downwards. So basically you want to get in good positions to kill enemies in good ways, although the upgrades will do things like improve the damage of your punch or allow you to shoot stars upwards now or shoot stars sideways now. Others include things like less falling damage. Falling damage I thought was kind of a weird choice to do in a game like this, as arcadey as it kind of feels, at least originally but it really just adds to the difficulty and you need to really watch out about where you're jumping and yeah it's, it's just a really hard game it's a really challenging game that ends up being a lot of fun the whole probability zero thing comes from the fact that you have this scrolling number going down all the time on your screen that's basically talking about your odds of survival and of course when you eventually die either by running out of lives, or hitting the top of the screen, or hitting the bottom of the screen, that number hits probability zero. Overall, the game is a simple enough roguelike inspired 2D platformer that can really lead to a lot of fun and varied gameplay. If you like what you see here, you can get the game for 7 bucks, or you can buy the whole bundle which I totally suggest doing for $10 because it includes Starseed Pilgrim, an amazing game. Check that out if you haven't already, I'll link to where you can buy the game in the bundle below. I've been Maple Dungeons, and I will see you next time.